<laughs> okay, so you guys, welcome back to This Is Living. Thank you for watching the videos. Appreciate all the support. We had a good run of some town swell here in Hawaii. But now that that's over, it was time to start looking at where it's going to be good in the world. And it just so happened, it looks like Fiji is going to be really good. And we are leaving tonight at around midnight. So we're getting all packed up and ready right now. Me and Billy are going. Obviously, Jack Tremaine, who films and edits all the videos, is coming. And I think another water photographer, Ryan Moss, videographer, is going to come with us as well. And it's going to be a really, really good trip, I think. There's a couple days of solid, solid surf that I'm going to have to be using this thing. Hopefully, it's big enough. Because if not, it's going to be a in-between size. It might not be good. But there's a wave right around the corner from Cloudbreak called Restaurants. That's one of the best waves on the planet. And that'll for sure be good. If you guys are wondering what this is, this is a pool vest from Quicksilver. It's what we use when we surf big waves. We put these inside of them, CO2 canisters, and you got about four pools. And if you get really pounded on a big wave, you pull one of these and it pops these canisters and fills up with air and ideally, you hopefully come up. But yeah, I don't know, I'm amping. We just confirmed our tickets. I got these new retro boards I'm taking. This is a 6.2. Here, I'll start from, this one's not retro. 6.0, Ghost. We got the 6.2, next step, pretty sick. And then, I think this might be one of my favorite ones, design-wise. This is a 6.4, next step. So I'm taking these three boards. Those are staying, they're 6.6s. Six you don't really need that size of board at cloud break, or at least I don't, but um, these are kind of what we got. Please don't drop my brand new surfboards. So where we're staying, we're staying on Tavarua, like a tiny little heart-shaped island right next to the main island Fiji of, of Fiji. But uh, we'll give you guys a little tour when we get there of that island. You can literally walk around it in like 30 minutes, and it's it's like the most amazing place I've ever been. I can't wait. We've been there before. I, I mean, I've been there a bunch, but when we started This Is Living, we went there like two times back in 2018, I think. And we haven't been back since because it was closed for COVID, like through COVID and everything. But it's time. I'm so excited. It is literally my favorite place on the planet. Oh, also, I gotta give a big shout out to Celsius. Check them out. Their newest flavor, Arctic Vibe. They're amazing. Probably why I am so amped up actually right now. Thanks, Celsius. I'm not gonna drink another one. I'll give it a second. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Sweet. So I got six four, six two, six zero, and I'm bringing two short boards and an eight six, just in case. Hopefully, it's big enough. Me and Billy are going to share a board bag and each bring a good sized board. Who else packs to go to Fiji at Foodland? Somehow fit five boards in that little board bag. side right there. Oh, you brought the little one? Yeah, it fit five. Yeah. I don't know. All right, LB. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, thanks. I'm looking for this. Bags. My little brother Lono, you guys. Say it's single. Ladies out there, Lono Rothman, follow him on Instagram. <laughs> Very single. Yeah. LB. I'll see you in a week. Have fun, you guys. Be safe. What time is it? PG time. Is like a movie or something? You too. Oh! Aloha! Aloha, Nice. What I was saying was, earlier today I was watching some old This Is Living videos that we made about four years ago in Fiji. Getting a little emotional. It was me, Nate, Co Smith, Ivan, Billy just groms having a good time I, that was the last time I was back so 
We haven't been back in almost four years. I'm really excited. Dingo's meeting us down there. Dingo Morrison. It's gonna be, it's gonna be such a sick trip. I love this. No one in the airport. We said our flight's empty. Me and Jack each have a row to ourselves. Just get this. It's so good. All right, we each got a row. Let me show you guys how to make a massive pillow if you get a row. Get a sleep on. Oh, this thing smells. Get all the other little pillows. Wrap them up. Not bad, it was about six hours, almost seven hours overnight. Left at about 12 <laughs> midnight, landed at like 4.45 a.m. Now we're off, we're gonna be surfing all day today. I think it's gonna be really, really fun. Smaller, picking up. It's gonna be a good day, it's gonna be a good trip. My favorite place in the world, it's here. To travel to. So. Uh, we just took our COVID test right over there. That's our boat we're getting on. <laughs> but that is Tavarua. Wait, where? Where's Where is Tavarua? Where is Tavarua? <laughs> yeah, over there. I was like, oh, I grew up. There's a mountain. We're at a different place. I was going to say, why does that look so big? This is the road. You usually turn, go down there. Yeah, you turn left. Because Tavaro is usually straight, straight out. Restaurants it looks really fun. Oh, I know. Definitely, wow. Bigger than I expected flying into. Yeah. That means the cloud break's gonna be pumping. We made it to Tavarua, and game plan for the whole trip. I'm gonna lay it out right now. We're gonna surf every single day, pretty much. Actually, for sure. Today we're probably gonna wait a little bit for the tide to come down. We'll head out to cloud break. The conditions should be really good. It's like as big as first ledge can get. And tomorrow, outer ledge should be good because cloud break has like two ledges. Inside ledge, which is honestly my favorite. And then the outer ledge, which only starts breaking and like being good at like 15 feet. So there's like a weird in-between size that's like 10 to 12 feet that's not good. So we're hoping today is like six to eight, and then tomorrow's gonna be like 15 feet. And we brought some big boards for that, and then no matter what, this wave right here, restaurants, 
probably one of the best waves on the planet, honestly, along with Cloudbreak. It's gonna be pumping every single day. So even if Cloudbreak is awkward in between sides tomorrow, out here is gonna be as good as it possibly gets. Restaurants, here's the restaurant. Restaurants. We like to go fast! <laughs> Look at this wave. Holy. Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, it's gonna get so good out here. This might be better than Cloudbreak. You know this is the island right now, yeah? Yeah, this. there's no one here. This is the island. We're the only actually guests here. Yeah. Us, so, Parco, Dingo. Yeah, the island was rented out, and then the people who rented the island out for this week left. And now Thank it's you, WSL. Just us here. Pit stop, gotta grab. First dash of the trip, let's go. The waves that have been inside right here were fucked up. That last wave right here was psycho. Wow, the fucking goat. Oh my god. Leash on the front foot, Roseman. Look at wow. behind. Oh, those are the ones that do. Wow. Imagine! Woo! It's getting better right now. Sex times. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just turned on. What are you riding? I'm riding my 6.4, 80 spray. Who should who spray this bill? Gavin. 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 I signed it. No. Hey boy. No. Gavin. Gavin what? He spray it all over? Look, what's the look? Gavin. Wow. Oh my god, we're gonna have to go sit deep. How's that? You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Get some clips of that. Wow, look at this wave. Boat yoga. Boat yoga. All right. Here we go, you guys. Woo! Woo look at that thing. <laughs> so tired. So 
so you fried. Do you have any bars? It's so no. fun though. I only brought four. I have nine. Uh oh. There's like a little shop down. Yeah, overnight flight into this section like, is really getting to me. I think they have like candy. Tired, right, but that's fine. What a great way yeah. to start the trip. I can't imagine anything better. We just got so barreled for a couple of hours. And it's getting a little funky. Garden it's still life. firing. But we're gonna go eat at the restaurant and then go check restaurants, the wave, because it could be all time. Because it's low tide and this wind that just came up that's kind of making it a little like crumbly out there right now is perfectly offshore for restaurants. And everyone's saying it could be really glassy. Offshore. 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 So we're on. We get some food, check restaurants, try not to fall asleep. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to PG. Look at this place. Oh, here. Just check. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Wow. What did you go for? We're at some massive fish tacos. Perfect waves to thank you. Perfect waves. So, some amazing food. So hungry. They have food every day here? Yeah. Best food. Every day. Breakfast, lunch, food. Oh, oh. 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 my god! Come on! 